Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. On the 24th of June last month, 2021, Microsoft officially announced Windows 11, as many of you already know, and they also announced that you would be able to upgrade for free from Windows 10 to 11 if your current machine meets those hardware and system requirements of Windows 11. And the upgrade would take place through Windows Update, and you would have to be running Windows 10 version 20H1 or newer. So that would be last year 2020's May feature update 20H1 or newer. So that would be 20H1, 20H2, 21H1, and now also 21H2, which Microsoft says will be rolling out later this year as well. Now, in a, a recent uh, post on their uh, Windows uh, Twitter page, um, Microsoft has said that the update would take a little bit longer you know, than a normal feature update. And it goes without reason that this is just not going to be just a feature update, but a whole upgrade to your Windows OS. And if we just go over to that uh, Twitter page, a question was asked, how can I get Windows 11 now? Is it through Windows 10 update? And this was on the 26th of June, two days after Windows 11 was officially announced. Microsoft responds, the upgrade to Windows 11 is available for devices running Windows 10 version 20H1 or newer on eligible hardware, as I've just mentioned. Another question, so through Windows Update, Microsoft says, sort of, the Windows 11 download and install will likely take longer than a typical Windows 10 feature update, and I've also mentioned that as well. Now, there is an exception to having Windows, a minimum of Windows 10 version 20H1, and that is if you are running Windows Enterprise version 1909. So if you are running version 1909 Enterprise Edition of Windows, you will be able to uh, upgrade through Windows Update to um, Windows 11 if you meet the hardware requirements. Now, Microsoft says they aren't going to force you to upgrade to Windows 11 you will have to go seek for the update. So you would have to check for the update, like any optional update, and then it'll just pop it here as an optional you know, feature update. And then you can download and install that at any time if you meet the hardware requirements, obviously. And then uh, if you don't decide to install it, you are supported on Windows 10 until 2025. So that gives us about another four and a half years. And then you would have to more or less apply the update. So you would have to seek for a check for updates, but they won't force you to upgrade to uh, Windows 11 if you don't want to. Now, that is, of course, if you meet those hardware requirements. Now, if you are thinking, OK, I can use the media creation tool to update to Windows 11 if I don't get it through a, a Windows update. Well, at the moment, you can upgrade to the May 2021 update, 21H1. But obviously, when Windows 11 rolls out, this will be Windows 11. But Microsoft says if you don't meet the hardware requirements, you won't be able to use the uh, update assistant or the media creation tool um, to upgrade to Windows 11 as you won't meet the hardware and system requirements. So that's the latest on the upgrade process from Windows 10 to 11. Um, you would have to be a minimum on uh, version uh, 20H1, the May 2021, the May 2020 update or Enterprise version 1909. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.